what's going on? Rotorout44 here with another senior tutorial video, kind of, <laughs> for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now, if you've ever taken a look inside of your content manager, you might have noticed that some of the packages display a file size, while some of them do not. So today, I'm going to teach you, hopefully very quickly, how to add this file size to your add-on packages, whether it be aircraft, scenery, tools, or well, any package that you would put inside of your add-on folder or your you know community add-ons folder. So here's a scenario. We just compiled a package with the scenery editor or the project editor, I guess in this case. And this specific case, it's a scenery. It's fantasy of flight in Southern Florida. Uh, which you know, some of you may be familiar with. So we have all of our files here. Inside of our package folder, we're going to find our scenery file, inside of which we're going to find a layout and a manifest JSON file. So you've compiled your final version. You're pretty much ready to zip this up and upload it to wherever you're sharing your file at. But first, Let's open up the, or the uh, manifest JSON file. So open with WordPad. You can use any text editor for this. WordPad just opens fast. We're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom here where we got our last three brackets here, our closing brackets. In front of this middle bracket here, we're gonna do comma, drop down to the next line, and we're going to say open quote, total underscore package underscore size closing quote colon space and then two quotes and then in between these two quotes we're gonna put 20 zeros and you know what <laughs> Because I don't want you to suffer through this, having to type 20 zeros, I'm just going to copy this line into the description below. And hopefully YouTube does not destroy it. I don't think it will. But just make sure it has 20 zeros nevertheless. Now, go ahead and save this file. So Control S, or you know, if you like to go up here and click Save, you can do that as well. Important reason to do that is because once we add this line, and we save this file. The file size is, of course, going to increase a little bit. So this is just to get a you know a very accurate reading. So select everything inside of this folder, or just go back out and select your main project folder there. You're going to see here your general properties is going to list the file size, your size, and size on disk. The value we want is right here, size. So this value over here in bytes is what we want to put down below. So we'll pull that up, scroll to the bottom, and we got nine places. So we'll remove nine zeros. And then we'll say 436, 389, 767, and save. And that's it. <laughs> Next time you drop this file inside of your uh, community add-ons folder and you open up Microsoft Flight Simulator and look into the uh, add-ons manager in there, you should see the exact file size that this takes up. So anyways, hopefully you guys found this tutorial is helpful. As always, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, drop them down in the comments below. I'll try to get back to them as fast as I can. No promises. I don't live on YouTube. I only visit this page, you know, once in a while. But I do try to get back to comments when I see them. Um, also, if, you know, another good place to start if you're just getting into scenery design or you know, add-on design for Mark Microsoft Flight Simulator. Go check out FS Developer. It's a great community. They welcome everybody developing for you know MSFS, FSX, prepared X plane. You can find it all there. So anyways, guys, have a great rest of your day or evening, wherever you may be at. And as always, Rodenut44, out.